What's up guys? This week we're gonna review a gun I've been wanting to review for a while and that is the Triarch Systems 8.3. Let's do this. So quick disclaimer, um, I do work with Triarch um, as I noted in a previous video, I do some freelance work with them. So I am slightly biased, but I wanted to just give a quick overview, honest review of, of the gun. With that out the way, Charge just released their 8.3 uh, pistol SBR. And one of the questions people ask is why did it take so long? It seems a little late to the party, um, but with Triarch, as with all things that they do, they make sure that one, it's, it's going to help the end user keep pushing forward. And two, they don't want to rush anything to market. So they want to put the, take the time and, and do the testing and get the data behind it. And with the shorter barrels in the 5.56223 platform, the hard thing is, is the velocity. So Chris wasn't comfortable releasing um, this short of a barrel unless they could confirm that they were gonna get the velocity out of it they needed. And so thankfully they did. And you can see all the velocities or some of the velocities they have in their, in their video um, on their YouTube channel. I'll link it below. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that was like the big thing. They wanted to test it. They wanted to make sure it was going to run reliably, um, that it was going to fire consistently and that it was going to be accurate and have the velocity they needed. So that took time to find out. I mean, they could have easily just cut a barrel down and done it, but they wanted to make sure that it was going to serve the purpose that it was designed for. So the, the design of this platform came out of departments and agencies coming to Triarch and saying, hey, we want something shorter, we want something smaller, we want something that when it has a can on it, it's super compact, and um, without a can, we can throw it in a backpack for some of our undercover guys or fit it in a vehicle real easily, uh, moving in and around close quarter areas. So that's the whole reason that Triarch looked into designing this package and, and designing this rifle the way that it is. So they, they started developing the... Um, this rifle and they made sure that it was checking off all the boxes that the agencies and departments were asking for. And so now we officially have the 8.3. Um, you can get it in a pistol or an SBR platform. So let's talk about this particular model. Um, starting at the front, uh, dead air flash hider, um, mounted to Triarch's Track 2.0 barrel uh, with the NP3 coated uh, barrel extension. And that just adds longevity, easier to clean, it's more reliable in the long run. Uh, running scalar work sights as well as a mount with an RMR, Triarch's uh, tri-lock rail, um, seven-sided, so you can run M-lock all the way around. Super slim, feels really good in the hand. Uh, Triarch's forged upper upper and lower receiver set, mil spec, um, radiant ambi charging handle, NP3 BCG, uh, down to the um, law tactical folder. You can get it without the folder. You can run a couple of different options here, uh, but for this one, we decided to put a folder on it so we could. Uh, work with it in and out of some uh, in and out of backpacks. Uh, SB Tactical SBA3 brace on it, and then of course it's got the um, centrifuge sling on it, which these things are like unicorns right now. So if you've got one, that's awesome. And then we threw uh, Edgar Sherman Designs a uh, little pull tab on there, uh, just for a little bit uh, quick quicker uh, release. So yeah, it's it's a really lightweight setup. It's a lot of fun to use. Um, so we took it out and we, we shot in and around some vehicles. I think the furthest we shot it out uh, when I was running it was out to 75. Um, Brandon and Sabine ran it out to 100 and, and I think Brandon even shot a little bit further than that. No issues hitting target with just an RMR with the 25 yard zero. So um, all in all, a fun gun to shoot. Um, a lot of fun to get around and shoot it. So, um, you know, getting it up and getting on target because it is so small and so compact, it, it did take a little bit of, of getting used to just because it doesn't have quite have that reach that, that we were we were used to. So I run a, I run a 10.5 or a 13.9, and when you go to, to come up on gun, it is it takes a little bit of getting used to because you, you tend to overshoot it a little bit. So it's just, it's one of those things you're getting used to, but moving in and out of a vehicle is where it really, you know, in a really close confined area is where this gun really performed really well. ETTS just got some cars on range and so we were shooting in and around those and moving around there moving in and out of the car moving the gun We had no issues um, It was fantastic. And so we've run quite a few rounds this gun I don't have an exact round count, but we haven't had any issues But I will say that when you're if you go this short of a platform You really need to run 556 everyone that shot it said the same thing Yeah, it was a little jumpy, but it wasn't anything like what we were expecting It's not gonna shoot like a 16 inch barrel. Of course. We all know that but 
it was way more manageable and, and way less recoil than any of us were expecting. It, it shoots so smooth. Uh, the 8.3, first thing I noticed, obviously, how short and compact it was. Um, I mean, I was telling Jimmy, is if you threw a hat, if you had a law folder on this, man, it'd be this tiny. You could fit in any backpack you wanted. Um, and it still controlled really well. I was surprised. Uh, I thought it was going to be a, a lot more muzzle rise, but it was really, really uh, controllable. And uh, I really like it. If you if you need a backpack gun or a truck gun, this is ideal, I think. It's a really good option. It's a lot of fun. It's really enjoyable. It doesn't beat you up. To me, it feels a lot like shooting a 10.5 as far as recoil. Um, some people have said it's, it feels like even less than a 10.5. Um, but I will say the area for me with such a compact package, the area that, that I struggled with was shooting on the move. So when you're shooting on the move and you're trying to keep a steady platform as, as you're taking your steps, it felt like it bounced a little bit more to me. Highly recommend the 8.3. Can't say enough good things about it and they're available now. Um, if there's something I missed, something you want to know, leave it in the comments below. Or if there's another gun or another rifle you want to see me review, leave it in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Karate chop that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.